Hello there, Daniel here from Home Gardens. It is the 2nd of March 2015 and we are in Essex, United Kingdom. Now I wish to showcase here an example of Malus domestica. This particular example is a variety, namely Lord Lambourne, okay? Now this is a cross between James Grieve and Worcester Pearman from the United Kingdom, raised in 1907 in Bedford, UK, and is also the holder of the Royal Horticultural Society Award of Garden Merit. Um, now the apple itself has an orange blush and green yellow background and is said to taste sharp and sweet. This is a mid-season fruit sensitive to honey fungus, apple scab, canker, other diseases as well. You have to look them ones up for yourselves and um, there are treatments but that's beyond the scope of this video. However, it's said to have resistance to powdery mildew. Now, the apple was introduced in 1923 to the market and was grown on a small scale. Um, you won't find these in supermarkets anymore though. So, medium sized creamy white crisp flesh and some balancing acidity. Now this keeps well and the fruit itself, the tree itself sorry, is a tip bearer. Um, picking time being mid-September and the season of use is till November. Now it's pollination too, okay? So you do well to have another apple tree in the vicinity in the same pollination group, pollination group two, to get a better crop. It will produce fruit on its uh, on its own pollen, but you will do better with one from group two. Now, um, other varieties in this group are Arthur Turner, James Grieve, Royal Gala, Discovery. Okay, it's a big list. You'll have to do your own research on that one, though. It's, it's a big list, and you can see you have one of these present in the vicinity as well. Now this is grafted by myself onto M27, okay, which is extremely dwarfing and it's, it will get to approximately five to six feet tall and it should be compact. Um, and it's said to produce three to five kilograms of apples on the M27 very dwarfing rootstock and it should crop two years after planting one of these and reach its full size within three to four years. Downside of course is because it's a very dwarfing rootstock it'll also have very dwarf roots um, and it will require staking once it's in the ground. Um, it needs mulching and watering um, and also it needs to be kept free of weeds and grass um, cannot tolerate any real sort of competition for water or or nutrients etc etc now what I want to do is to show you what I've done here I've done a cleft graft on you can see it there you can see where the join was I did that in the first week of May 2014 so I had um, a rootstock growing away in this pot for about a year before I did the graft um, I then cut it about six inches from the base um, cut a slot like um, yeah a slot in the rootstock itself and I then got my scion which is you can see my scion this bit here so I then got my scion and I shaved off two sides of it and I then slotted live wood to live wood um, must be very clear on that as much wood as possible um, with the bark shaved off into the slot I'd earlier cut with my open all six knife now I need to be very careful with the open all six or any grafting knife in fact because they're very very sharp indeed now you then after you have done that tape it to form a nice seal with a some grafting tape so if you look here, you can see the growth. So the scion ends here, and the growth is all the way up to there. So it's about two feet worth of growth. So I'm very happy for that for one growing season. And um, also, the rootstock itself has put up a shoot from the rootstock, and this here I will then graft maybe another Lord Lambourne or another variety onto this. Um, I'm still not sure exactly what I'm going to use this for. Maybe I'll use this as um, as a cordon, 
or maybe I'll grow it as a, a small smalls that might even leave it in the pot I don't know that's another good example another good thing about the M27 is you can actually leave them they can leave them in pots obviously you will have to water them a lot in um, in extremely dry weather um, and you'd have to water them a fair bit anyway when they're growing but um, so if you're limited for space an M27 is a is a very good choice so if you don't have a big garden or you have um, sort of mobility issues and you can't get around then an M27 apple tree in a pot could be you know it could be a good thing to grow um, if you buy one of these you're looking depending on the root stock in the region of 15 to 30 pounds maybe give or take um, this root stock I bought myself from Blackmore Nurseries for about four pounds um, so and then all you need to know is somebody who's kind enough to give you a scion of your your chosen variety and you can graft your own so all in all i would say this one is a success and uh, if you wish to have a go at grafting do your own research learn how to do it and um, i wish you all luck with that thank you very much